Zaire was, um, he was shot in his lower neck, like right around here. And it, the bullet went out his back on the left side. They, um, they said that it was one of those bullets that, um, go in and, and explodes or shatters or something. Um, so there is shrapnel inside of him, um, but they haven't removed it. They said that it would do more harm to try to remove it. Um, and so basically they cleaned his wounds and bandaged them and sent him home. He has not had surgery, no stitches. He said he saw the man out of the corner of his eye, so he slightly turned his head. And when he did that, um, he said the guy got out of a blue car dressed in military gear. He said his head was covered. He didn't see his face or anything. He said his whole head was covered. Um, he said that um, he got out the car. He saw the gun. He pointed the gun at Zaire and he shot him. Zaire said that one of his coworkers, um, one of his coworkers helped him get up and they ran across the street away from the store. I think that situations like this happen because we don't talk and we don't teach. We do not talk about race and racism in this country. We talk about it, but the people at the table are speaking different languages and no one understands each other. They're not getting to any solutions. The talk is just talk. It's not solution-based talk. And so that that's what I want to see. I want to see gun laws because why should someone like me be able to purchase a military grade bullet that explodes? Like, I don't even understand that. I do not understand that. Why do I have access to that? Why would I need access to that?